Hi everybody, this is the Baseball Hunt, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion, your host, the Hunt, and welcome back to the Baseball Hunt 2. Hope you like this video, and hit that subscribe button. So we're going to talk about former Met Max Scherzer, who's now with the Texas Rangers. He was able to win a World Series with the Rangers without really doing anything. And it's funny, you know, Frank Cashin said many years ago, the former general manager of the Mets and the Baltimore Orioles, why is the guys that, that do the least spread the most champagne? Well, Scherzer is, is an example of that. He may be a three-time Cy Award winner, future Hall of Famer, but uh, Scherzer has not been doing too good. And he, has, he had a bad day the last couple of days. He had to get surgery on his back. Here's from MLB.com. Scherzer has surgery on a herniated disc out until mid-season. Uh-oh. Rangers right hand, the Max Scherzer had surgery on a herniated disc in his back. Texas general manager Chris Young announced on Friday he's expected to be out until at least June. The 39-year-old ace was traded by the Mets to the Rangers at the trade deadline this past season for prospect Luis Angel Cunha. I would say that the Mets won that trade. Angel, Luis Angel Cunha has not made it to the majors yet. It's a good possibility he will be with the Mets next year. But I would say that this was a win for the Mets. This is what you get when you trade for an older pitcher. And it's a big reason why this team, the New York Mets, failed in 2023. And he was the big reason why they didn't win in 2022, because he didn't pitch well when he was needed. Scherzer made eight starts for Texas down the stretch, going 4-2 with a 3.20 ERA before being sidelined in mid-September because of a right ter tersus major muscle strain in the shoulder. He returned to start Game 3 and 7 of the American League Championship Series against the Astros, and then Game 3 of the World Series versus the Diamondbacks, tossing three scoreless innings in the Rangers' victory. But he has a dead start in the fourth inning due to what the club announced as back tightness. Young said the team attempted several conservative treatments and pain management, but Scherzer's pain never went away. They ultimately decided that surgery, surgery was the best option. He has had back injuries before. He was sidelined for a couple of weeks in the middle of 2019 and 2019 season with a back ailment and was scratched from a Game 5 start in that year's World Series with the Nationals due to neck and back spasms. Scherzer, a three-time Cy Young Award winner, exercised a $43.33 million play option for the 2024 season. When he was dealt to the Rangers. Now, thank God he's not here anymore. Uh, he destroyed the Mets season two years in a row. Uh, like I said, he had two big starts last year. One against the Braves. The first game against the Braves in Atlanta. Didn't, didn't show up. And then game one against the, the Padres the following week. And the wild card series. Again, and gave a four home runs in the, in the game was out by the fourth inning, fifth inning, whatever it was. He was a complete, total disaster when the Mets needed him. And if you follow the Mets uh, this past regular season, every game the Mets needed him to pitch well, every single game the Mets needed him, he pitched poorly every single time. Uh, it was against the Braves. The, I mean, And, of course, we know about that nonsense with the Dodgers when he got caught in L.A. with his hands all sticky. Then he says he put water on it. It makes, it, it makes your hands more sticky. And instead of saying, you know, I, I screwed up, he complained. And he, he That's the one thing about Scherzer. He tends to point fingers. And, I, and I'm glad that he's gone, to be honest with you. He did a lot of good work here with the Mets, but I'm glad he's gone. There's a lot of drama. When he's not pitching well, and obviously with his age, he's not going to pitch well anymore. There's a lot of sort of insanity and drama that that – you know, that gravitates his orbit, that surrounds his orbit. So, thankfully, he's. I'm glad he's out of here. He's a, a you know, now he is on the, the payroll of the Texas Rangers. He's not our problem anymore. And of course, uh, I think the Mets picked up the eye. What the hell am I talking about? But at least he's out of here. You don't have to watch him not pitch for this money. So, thank you for watching this video. As I get all screwed up, so much has happened here at the, at the baseball hut. And with the Mets, I have no idea which end is up, quite frankly. And thank you for watching this video. Of course, please subscribe to the Baseball Hut 2. And I'll see you later.